It's pretty cool getting a 3D look at an organ that you're about to operate on in real time without ever picking up a scalpel. This could one day be the reality for people with liver cancer and their doctors thanks to a breakthrough at the Lawton Health Research Institute in London, Ontario, Canadian. So for more, we're joined by Dr. Derek Cool. He's an assistant professor at Western University and one of the people behind this new technology. Welcome. Hello, and thanks for having me. I'm fascinated by this, and the pictures are amazing. Doctors use <laughs> CT scans and 2D ultrasounds right now in surgeries. So can you tell us what a 3D ultrasound does and how it helps? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, I'm an interventional radiologist, and when we do these ablations, uh, we're basically placing a needle through the skin directly into uh, the liver and the tumor. Uh, and the tip of that needle burns an area around it and essentially eradicates uh, all the tissue and the tumor um, without even doing an incision in the skin. But to get it there, we typically have to use uh, some sort of imaging to guide it, whether it be 2D ultrasound, or which is a normal ultrasound, or a CT. And there's limits, limitations to both, but the one of the limitations right now with ultrasound when we use it to guide is that we can only really see in one dimension. We can just see kind of one side of the tumor. So like if, if for example, if this was our tumor, it'll look like the needle is right in the center of that tumor. But we, in the other direction, we can actually see that it's off to the side. Oh. And there's potentially an area that we're missing. And that can sometimes be difficult to assess with our regular ultrasound. The idea with this 3D ultrasound is we can actually get that second dimension. We can do measurements in all directions. So before we do the treatment, we can actually be more confident that we're going to eradicate all the tumor and not leave any uh, behind. Dr. Cool, I love a good show and tell. It just explains things so clearly. Uh, we know that liver cancer is one of the deadliest forms of cancer. How then does this technology change outcomes? <clears throat> So ablation has been uh, around sort of for the last uh, 20, 25 years, but it's growing in popularity. And it's particularly for smaller tumors, sort of, uh, it's, a, it's an excellent way, minimally invasive treatment. Uh, the benefit that we see with this 3D ultrasound is that we're starting to see more and more uh, of these procedures being requested for patients. And if we do the procedure under CT, sometimes doing that procedure will replace uh, the equivalent of eight patients getting their normal diagnostic scan. So as we try and treat more and more patients this minimally invasive way, it becomes difficult for us to do it with CT. So having an option that's accurate and successful with ultrasound, I think will uh, allow more patients to be able to have this procedure. So far, it's been used on 14 patients. What's next for the clinical trials? Yeah, so the first 14 patients, we didn't actually use the 3 all center during the procedure. We wanted to see if it helped, and we found that actually in about a third of the cases, it would have uh, potentially improved our needle placement. So next stage for the trials, we want to actually use it in the procedure itself. So place our needle and then do a 3D ultrasound, see if we can improve the needle position before we're actually delivering the therapy in hopes that we'll um, get better outcomes and require fewer retreatments. What excites you most about this and what other kinds of surgeries could this potentially be used for in the future? Yeah, I mean, there's a, liver is a common one. We also actually are seeing it used more and more for kidney cancer. Uh, there's some growing uh, sites of doing it in other locations of the body, such as thyroid, even breast. Um, those are still evolving, but I think anywhere where we can use ultrasound to do the ablation, I think 3D could, could help in those areas. Dr. Cool, thanks so much for your time on this this morning. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.